I'm searching the web for the latest gaming news. Searching GameZillaMedia.com, downloading headlines. Alexander, what about this monster story of yours? Download complete. Sport or sellout? Definitely a sport. Debate rages again over medals for video games. And this is happening because we have an event starting up, the Asian Games, which is basically an Olympics equivalent for the world's most um, pop populous continent, will include computer game competitions alongside swimming and track and field. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Contestants from Saudi Arabia to Japan will battle for national pride and bragging rights across six titles. These titles include League of Legends. Yes. StarCraft 2. Yes. That's all I got. Clash Royale. <laughs> Hearthstone. <laughs> yep. Pro Evolution Soccer. And for the testonomics of the world, Arena of Valor. Yeah, Splatoon 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, um, what you said, if right? you look at your screen, you look at my screen, there's one thing missing. <laughs> uh, Mine's this gray. List. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what I looked over and I was like, he doesn't have the like, list. I was like, that's over. weird. I could have swore it was here. <laughs> but anyways, those are your games. Uh, the move is generating furious controversy. Many athletes and fans contend, uh, contend that computer games aren't truly sports and no medals should be awarded for what's essentially skillful consumption of corporate product. Fact. This week's games Ooh. are the largest showcase yet for esports, an early test of whether it will be included in the 2024 Paris Olympics, which is still up in the air, um, but aiming, but leaning that way. So here's my thing, though, okay? And I'm going to take an angle on this that I don't think anybody on this table may will agree with. I think that's just a cop out for all these all these athletes. Okay, I'm not saying that basketball is a um, what, what was the term that they used? Uh, corporate product, but isn't every sport nowadays become a corporate product? Pretty like, much, yeah. Like, isn't it like owned how by many corporations. how many like sponsors can I get, and how and how many state like decals can I throw on my floor, and you know, and how much millions of dollars can I get on a sneaker deal? And oh, oh, and I have to shoot a basketball, or oh, and I have to throw a football. Like to me, I I just feel like for them to sit there and say the like this is their this is like the ground that they're standing on. This is what this is why it's a problem. It's like the wrong it's the wrong stand like right i mean if it's your opinion that's fine but to me i'm like that is not like right now esports is being taken over by your world by by basketball baseball all these all these people are literally buying up esports and turning it into what you say you hate because they already did it to your sport um Way to go, Grimlock the Dino. I don't, yeah, I guess I just subscribed to my channel. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. You did no it. No idea. I, 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 believe, I believe for those of you listening and, hey, and, hey, and, and, me. and trying to wonder why Grimlock forgot how to talk, uh, we just had a gift of five subs just drop in, in, oh, in the Twitch chat yeah. by Thank none other you. than one of our newer patrons, the Ninja Carter. <laughs> hey, Tessa you subscribe too. Yeah. 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 Wow. No, we need a better email. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, we definitely need a better emote. Um, so my problem here is is the corporate product thing doesn't stand the, its ground when you think of s- sports today. I mean, it's just everything's about making the, the dollar and just how much how much we can we can just get consumers to shell out, how much we can get companies to pay us so that we can slap Comerica on our buildings and all that stuff. I just for me. It's not a strong standpoint. And so it continues to go on saying it's really a shift away from from what the Olympic, you know, d- uh, dreams were, what the Olympic rules were, what the concept was. And that's uh, coming from Scott McG- McGrory, a 48 years old Australian gold medalist in cycling and a sports broadcaster. He's quoted saying it's like saying, let's have a competition with the best accountants on the planet. Oh, coming from a gold medalist in cycling. I, I ride my bike around the neighborhood, like competitive Whoa. bike riding Whoa, around the neighborhood. Well, you watch out. I like biking. Yeah, well, that's true. But I agree with you. Like, to me, it's like, well, uh, are you sponsored by a bike? Does someone give you your bicycle? Oh, Gold 100%. Medals? Yeah, they do. 100%. Do you make a ton of money for riding bicycles for Trek or Specialized or some other company? Cannondale? I don't know. Like, 
to me, I just don't like the idea of just corporate product. Like you are corporate. You are owned by corporate. Okay. USPS mail is why you cycle. Here's my thing with, um, I'm going to say that um, it says, athletes, many athletes and fans contend computer games aren't truly sports. Okay, let me drop the cold hard facts on all you it's not fans a sport. and athletes, <laughs> all right? The definition of sport, an activity, computer gaming is an activity that involves physical exertion and skill, which is individual or team and competes against another or other forms for other forms of or other forms of entertainment. So what 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 part of that's not a sport? The physical exertion? You sit there and click your mouse in rapid succession for an hour and a half and tell me that you're not tired afterwards. That's after 12 hours of practice. Right. While trying to clench your butt cheeks cuz you got to poop real bad but you yeah. can't leave. Yeah. Plus you got to eat Cheetos at the same time. No, they don't eat Cheetos, man. They eat healthy. They don't get to eat the junk food like us. Oh, well, it's cheese poops, but they're like, you know, they <laughs> right. got they're, no, they those got organic. chemical They're organic. Yeah. Yeah. Bagel bites sitting on top of their GPUs. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. so critics, like a, critics are simply saying the only reason this is being allowed is greed. The Olympic Charter historically stated that um, mental or mechanical driven activities were not permitted as sports. One reason chess and car racing were never included in the Olympics. The Olympics are attracting fewer viewers, especially among younger audience. Officials may be willing to bend the rules to welcome the $140 billion video game industry, which commands the attention of teenagers and millennials. Okay, so uh, how is that any different than any of the other sports that are changing the way they, that they are to try to gain the next generation? Because eventually, when the old folks die, you need these people to stay, uh, to stay afloat. So you have to eventually care about the millennials and whatever comes after them. I, what, what do we call this next wave after millennials? Anybody know? Uh, Idiots. Yeah, that, that works. So my whole thing here is like baseball has been trying to speed up their game for the last two, three years and, and trying to sit there and make it so that because the big thing is millennials find the game boring. It takes too long to get through a baseball game. That's what they say. So they're trying to speed it up. Well, man, that's not American. That's not baseball. Huh. We should we should, we should, should boycott it. Or it's just, not even a sport anymore. They're changing it. If you just right. drink enough during it, it goes by real quick. You all don't even probably remember actual kickoffs of football. Like, things change for safety, for speed, for just enjo- actual enjoyment through a television or in person. It all matters. Wait, there's no kickoffs in football anymore? There is, but it's pretty much like touchback, touchback, touchback. There's like no returns. No kickoff returns. Oh. There there can be, but the way they moved it is to cut down so that people don't get hurt. So the kicker's yeah. just drilling it into the end zone every time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah they got to, they, like, they got there's to move a up kicker. like 20 yards and now they get to kick it in the back of the outside of the uh, end zone every time. That's yeah. stupid. Why don't you just start them on the 20 yard line every, every that year? Was, that, that was one of the suggestions, actually. Yeah, the NFL's just messing but they up. But they, yeah, they, yeah. they need that guy to catch it. They need that guy to catch it back XFL. there. XFL. Yes. XFL. Yes. Burr, 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 burr. XFL. Do it. All right. So. <sighs> So they're bending the rules according to what people are saying. They've got Olympic ideals, and they use all these slogans, but at the end of the day, it's just a big money-making machine. Uh, a sports, uh, said said Matthew Jessup, a sports and esports lawyer. If the Olympics want to continue making the sort of money they've been making, they need to supplement the content from a, co- from a content play. Esports is a definitive opportunity. So... That that's just that was said by a esports and sports lawyer. Okay, so now Olympic organizers also historically have worked with nonprofit sports groups and are barred from dealing with for-profit companies like the game makers. Jessup says, but the game industry doesn't yet have an international nonprofit group that could fill that role. So it's okay. Riots o- getting close. It's okay for the Olympics to make. Bought loads of money, but it's not okay for Tencent and League of Legends to make money? Like, who cares? Right. Who cares? Why does that matter? They're scared that these video game t-shirts are going to sell more than the Olympic t-shirts. No, there's one reason why it matters, okay? And this is this is what they're going to come up with. Game makers stand to benefit from this. Unlike with basketball or fencing, the intellectual property of a video game is usually owned by a for-profit company. That means choosing a game from, say, Tencent or Electronic Arts has a direct impact on their profit. 
Skeptics say the selection process is rife with opportunities for favoritism and influence peddling. Okay, if you're saying you're corrupt, you're corrupt. I don't know what to tell you. Have you seen FIFA? Have you seen soccer in the last 15, 20 years? Like, it doesn't matter. Corruption's corruption. If you don't think there's already corrupt people in the Olympics, you're crazy. Okay? You're so wait, crazy. what they're saying, what they're what they're saying right here is that the whole world's gonna watch football. Basketball on the on the Olympic level, the best players in the world playing an Olympic sport, they're all watching basketball. And that's okay. And be- Spalding isn't gonna make any money off of selling it's basketballs. A, it's a, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. It's okay because right. the NBA doesn't make any money off of oh, the NBA. But what about Who Spalding? Cares? Spalding! You they st- make basketballs. You, you still, still make any money? You still want LeBron James or whoever standing on that court at the Olympics, which guess what? When he does it promotes the NBA as the greatest league in the world. You don't win. Stop caring about this. And as far as the whole corruption thing, it's already started. They picked they picked pro pro striker football or something. They yeah. picked they picked Konami's soccer game over FIFA. Like not not that pro striker or whatever is bad okay like it, it is a it is a semi popular game but nowhere on the scale of fifa and and the esports leagues that already exist for fifa so like that's already a surprising pick and we don't even know why that's the really that's that's the one that, that kind of kicks you in a weird way is that these six games or whatever that were selected we don't even truly understand how they were they just said we have this very clean uh concept of how we pick games and that's how we picked the six games well, it, it, <laughs> we have an idea yeah. that's how we did it i hope the, you like that answer their initial their initial concept was it was tencent and activision blizzard and then konami has this random game thrown in there like league is tencent arena of valor tencent clash royale tencent well, starcraft and hearthstone well, activision no, I, blizzard. Know, I know the brands were there but i so Asian Games organizers have yet to explain in detail how the year's six titles were chosen. The Asian Electronic Sports Federation, which oversaw the selection, said it was based on straight criteria, sorry, stringent (laughs) criteria, according to a statement in May. The game must adhere to our vision of promoting integrity, ethics, and fair play. (laughs) AESF President Kenneth Falk said in the statement, AESF did not respond to multiple emails or phone calls about this to try to get a better definition. This is literally all they gave them, and yeah. and and the event is starting like now. That, so, yeah, that that right there is why you're not going to see Overwatch because yeah. those guys can't keep their tweets shut. That's that's true. That's true. Uh, in a panel discussion in July, we uh, president president of the Olympic Council of Asia said that the debate over esports in the uh, Asian Games has been tough, and while the International Olympic Committee questioned its inclusion, game makers were adamant about keeping control over their business. Um, 27 countries participated in qualifying for esports, with 135 players selected to live alongside athletes for tra- of the traditional sports. Winners from this year won't get medals, but gold, silver, and bronze will be awarded at the 2022 Games. All right. So there you go. Cool. I hate this though. Like, it's one thing. It's a hey, small look, step look, for man. Hey, look at loaded. It's one thing for them to. There's been a lot of like debate as far as like should it be here, right? And that's fine. Like we can have that talk, but you picked one main reason why it shouldn't be here, and it was such a piss poor reason that I just don't. I I just instantly wanted to yell at you on this podcast about it because it's not. It's not. In in this day and age, everything is greed. Everything is corporate product. Everything. I mean, what what do you? Yeah, it's all about that, money, man. Yeah, like, it's all why, about money. Like, yeah, you love your you love cycling and you love your sport, but you know what? You also love the track gives you a bicycle. You also like you also love that you get to you know shoot hoops for the for the Golden State Warriors every day, but you also like making eighty million dollars doing it. And then making another hundred million from Nike, and another thirty million over here because you 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 were on a commercial for Subway. Like, get out of here! You are a corporate billboard. The jersey you wear is a corporate billboard. So get off your high horse, enjoy the money you're making, 
enjoy the dream that you get to live, and let other people enjoy their dream, which is esports. Okay, so get over it. All right. Yeah, <laughs> cover that up. Cover Trying that to up. Be a cover billboard. Uh, you got Rocket Mortgage on your other one. They can only see that. They think it's Rocket Morga. <laughs> it's a Rocket League shirt. Yeah, he's a, a Rocket Rocky, Rocky Morga. 